Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me right here, right now. This is your review. Okay, guys, welcome to Jury Review. I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me. At this time, I am going to run my disclaimers. This channel and these videos are not meant for children under the age of 13. Omega Studio News Talk Show T content warning over the age of 18. At this time, I would roll the Okay, so welcome, welcome, welcome to Jury Review. Uh, I don't have the jury people behind me, but uh, I will bring them up uh, in a minute. Let me see, let me just go ahead and actually, we're actually uh, walking through the building right now. All right, uh, so yeah, so let's see, welcome. They are now entering into their seats. And before they uh, enter into want to enter into their seats, I just want to just tell you guys there are just so much uh, breaking news happening right now. Let me just go ahead and run the ticker at the bottom. There's just so much happening right now. All right, jury people, are you are you there? Are you there? Are you there, jury people? <clears throat> okay, so jury people are there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, good morning. Good morning to y'all. Okay, cool. All right, so um, basically, jury review is giving you guys a review, basically everything that has gone over throughout the week, and we try to sum it up. And I'll speak to jury people. Jury people have no idea, uh, basically, what has transpired throughout the week. So I'm basically here to update them and you as well. All right, so uh, be oh. Let me just um, do this. I just keep forgetting to do this. Let me just run my second uh, disclaimer warning. Warning, the views expressed uh, on this program, just the views expressed opinions, don't take any of this serious, but I will warn you, your discretion is advised. Okay, so jury people, welcome, welcome, welcome. I also want to bring in the... Okay, I have the uh, slide, which I want to say welcome to jury review. I want to um, go by things in order here. So jury people, welcome uh, again. This is uh, jury review. I want to start with some breaking news right here. But before I want to acknowledge the host, me, sponsored by Omega City News, Talk Show T, and also Kareem in the morning, copyright date December. 2021. And also, we have our uh, partners, which is Omega City News, Tokyo T, Radio 911, The Session, Live at 9 on Thursdays. Uh, there is no more Pretty Bitch Club, Sheenie and 
there is no more Kobe Sunday. Uh, House of, well, there is no more Kobe Sunday, but it's Sheen Sunday now. And uh, House of Workout, how? What I See, You See is coming back very soon with new episodes. What's going on, America? What's going on, America? Jury Review. Uh, what's going on, America? Just dropped a episode down on infrastructure. You guys can go check that out. Omega City News, like on Facebook, a social media venue, as well as Ghetto Kitchen Man, Black College Do on Instagram, Omega City News on Twitter, and Kareem J. Clemens Facebook and Kareem Clemens on YouTube. Okay? And rest in peace to my boy Sheedy, my best friend. All right? All right. So, social media news, breaking news. Uh, welcome to Jury Review, where we review the news of the week with the jury people. And first on, uh, we want to go ahead and start off with Young Dolph. So I've been talking about Young Dolph ever since he was killed in Memphis, uh, a.k.a. Adolph, Adolph Hatchet Thatcher Jr., uh, known as Young Dolph. And I want to let you know that he was, all, he was, he was killed. And he had his funeral service, and I also broke, break, gave you some breaking news. And to the jury people, you guys didn't know, but they killed him uh, while he was in a cookie shop getting cookies. And this is so crazy because uh, we were saying, like, who knew or could somebody have known his itinerary or where he possibly could have been at? Because, mind you, he was giving out turkeys and he was giving out other things to families to make their other families safe and have food on the table. So he was doing that. So as again, we have also labeled that Young Dolph was a philanthropist and he was an entrepreneur. But right here, breaking news is that Young Dolph honor and Memphis street name and after him. So families say that the street name will serve as a reminder to folks in the Castilla Heights community of someone who embodies hard work and perseverance. So um, this will happen since the city of Memphis will announce plans to change the street name to something in his honor and, the, and reveal in the set for December the 15th at an intersect near Memphis Depot and Industrial Park. So yes he is being honored again uh if you recall young Dolph was gunned down last month while he was inside Memphis cookie shop he was young he was young all right all right so you guys know you guys hear about that so shout out to him and his family his two kids and his wife All right, so happy Friday. Again, this is this part here is news from around the country and around the world. So first, I want to go ahead and start on the fact that, and this was the whole, um, you know, when social media plays a big part, whether or not it, be good, it could be good or whether or not it could be bad, you know. And I can tell you that uh, ever since they found the people guilty of killing Ahmad Ab Ahmad Aubrey people have done so much things on the internet it's not even funny like they will start campaigning like they did for that dude who killed those innocent people at the parade on at uh, the Christmas Day parade back in or up there in uh uh in Kenosha you know Wisconsin and they started GoFundMe for these idiots. I don't understand why. Well, for his case, it was um, he was an innocent guy. They're uh, framing this man, and the GoFundMe was set up by somebody who they actually took it down, and they banned that person, but that person said that he was innocent, right? So here, fundraisers shut down for a man convicted and we don't know i don't know what man but they saying fundraisers shut down for a man convicted in a ahmad aubrey murder so if you recall the three idiots was found guilty and held responsible for killing an innocent black man okay so they're saying and we're not going to bring up nobody's name here as far as the 
the suspect's name, but they're saying that the fundraiser for one of the idiots, uh, one of the three men convicted last uh, uh, convicted last week of murdering Amai Aubrey in Georgia, was shut down in recent days. So somebody, there we go with this GoFundMe. GoFundMe said Thursday that a uh, a crowdfunding platform has removed three fundraisers uh, for one of the idiots uh, the week before any funds was raised. So Go GoFundMe pro prohibits uh, raising money for the legal defense for violent crime. Uh, here, they're saying that they started a, uh, a, a GoFundMe for his wife. And the goal was to raise three hundred thousand dollars, but they actually, um, I think they took that down as well too. But whatever it is, any money that these idiots have, it needs to go to the family, because especially the state just paid out. I'm sure they did. Okay, I'm sure they paid out. I'm sure they had to pay something. But if they have money on or any financial money, the family should get it. And if any money is being fundraised, it should be raised in the victim's name, Ahmad Aubrey, and goes to his family. Any of these money that they got, got pensions, that that one of the guys is a former police officer, maybe he has a pension, uh, maybe he has uh, other money, life savings bonds, that money needs to go to the family. Okay? So, yeah, so that was, uh, they was found guilty on November 24th. Uh, pursuing the uh, fatal shooting of Ahmad um, Aubrey, 25, a black man. Okay. So the next one is uh, the family, the family of, okay, so yeah, so the family of one of the boys, of the nine-year-old boy that I had uh, spoke about when I had asked the question, what the hell is a Nayo doing at a, uh, a concert? You know, he, he succumbed from his injuries after he was, as he died, uh, I believe, of the life support. But what the Nayo, uh, the family is saying that they declined Travis Scott offer to pay for the funeral. Now, it's devastating. One way or another, family might say they don't want it now, but they probably want it later. Okay. Uh, because sometimes, and, 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 and mind you, uh, if you look at it, technically, he was killed. He was killed. He was killed because uh, we don't know the circumstances of how he died, but he was killed. Okay? He was killed in a uh, crowded area that had over 50,000 people there, which should have not ever, ever happened. And that was the concert at Asheron. So the family is declining. I don't know why, but we're going to find out. So here we go. Travis Scott offers to pay the funeral courses for those who died during the stampede at the Astro World Festival in Houston. And I'm still gagging. I'm still gagging. I'm sure you guys are still gagging about how can a nine-year-old or why is a nine-year-old there? And if it was, it's like, how can you even get it? I can't even get the mic back there for now, but I have it set up next week where you guys are going to, we're going to actually... I'm, I'm, I trust me. Next jury review or next week, come back on jury review next week. I got you because I got I got something planned out. Okay, but yes. So they want to know how and why was a nine year old there, but more likely fifty thousand people. They was crushed to death. They was crushed to death on the street. In Houston, okay, so the youngest victim, a nine-year-old, has declined. They have declined the offer, and I hear you back there. I know, I know that you. I, I said the same thing, honey. I said they may not want the money now, but damn it, they gonna want the money later, okay? Because times are tough. Funerals are expensive, and if somebody's willing to pay for a funeral service then, you know, let it be. But sometimes it's like, you know, 
we don't have no connection together. I'm, I'm talking about the family and Travis Scott. And he was just going there to enjoy the music, I would assume. That's why he got he went there. So with all the people being there and now their family has lost a loved one, they're like, well, he didn't lose a loved one. You understand? It was us that lost a nine-year-old on the street at a festival that should not have happened with 50,000, over 50,000 people. Like, where are the restrictions, the pre-pandemic -pre restrictions? Again, like, social media saying that there have been so many people signing off on this uh, event that took place uh, 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 on the street of Houston. And they pretty much should not have allowed it because how in the hell could you allow this many people without crowd control? You needed crowd control on the street. And it doesn't make any sense. You said what? He was murdered on the street. They said he was murdered on the street at a festival. So, apparently, as you know, 10 people lost their lives and multiple people, yes, 10 people lost their lives uh, at the Astro World Festival. According to new court documents, Travis Scott, Drake, Live Nation, NRG Stadium, and Apple Music, and more are facing a 2B, that's 2 billion, that's 2 B-I-L-L-I-O-N, Bucks, Money, Shmulia, Smackaroons, Rubies, you name it, okay? Suing them in a lawsuit, that's billions, okay? Following the deadly incident at Astroworld. Those people died on the street. Let's continue. So, apparently, I hope, really hope that they get their money. Okay, next. The Oxford High School shooting. It has been a shooting on the grounds yet again. Okay? And this time, they not playing. They are not playing with these people. They're going to be holding people responsible and accountable. Damn it, if they got to hold your dog accountable, if they got to hold the sneakers you wore accountable, bitch, they will hold it accountable. So in this case, they are holding the parents accountable or parents of the Michigan teen accused of school shooting could face own charges. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean that, uh, well, let's dive in to see. And then the jury people, y'all want to know what does that mean? Yeah, there was, there was another school shooting in this great country, okay? And they're saying that they're waving this idiot up as a doubt, okay? This just makes me think about the idiot who killed those people on Valentine's Day in, in Florida, okay? Uh, so here, we are understanding that they announced that they will charge the parents of the 15-year-old Michigan boy who fatally shot four classmates at his school earlier this week. Uh, he was a sophomore at a school called Oxford High School, about 40 miles north of Detroit. Faces numerous counts, including murder and being held without bond after an arraignment he has been 
charged as an adult. The family. Now, why are they charging the family? Maybe they may have found some evidence and I was hearing through the, the social media that they were saying that this man had a school meeting and his parents had to be there. And they're apparently saying allegedly that the gun that he used to have or a gun that he, he, he may have brought a gun with him. So that just shows that the lack of that school, if they don't, you know, it's probably not one of those hoods, great. Really? Without a uh, metal detective in it? Okay, well, now you need to put one in it because obviously somebody came into your school with a gun if he's saying it. All right? We don't know if he may have done damage or could have done damage or whatever the story may be. We know four innocent people. I know somebody succumbed from the injury. Okay? But yes, he killed them. And we're seeing this, uh, uh, well, I hope this is not a rise and spike of gun killing and the violence in this great country. Okay, we're coming out of the pandemic. We're hearing about these festival uh, crashes. We're hearing about these uh, shootings. We're hearing about uh, accidents. It's just, come on now. And then we have a new, uh, 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 pan, um, an another variant. Well, hopefully it's not going to spread like how the other, other, but that's another topic that I got to talk about on another episode But right here, you know, it's to jury people, to you guys, just make sure you guys are still six feet, six feet distance, social distancing. And the number one is to get vaccinated. Okay. Get vaccinated today. If you choose to wear a mask, if you don't, but still wear a mask. All right. All right. Cool. So apparently they're saying that he could, they could be charged. And when they are charged, you guys can uh, go up on social media and find out. But I just know, uh, let's have a moment of silence for those victims who were killed. Okay. All right. So, uh, all right, so I want to say uh, Happy New Year 2022. And uh, before I go up, let me just go ahead and pull myself up here. I want to go ahead and, and, and talk to the jury people, and I want to go ahead and talk to you guys because I want to help help remind them on what happened this week. And this week, we lost a superstar by the name of Sean A. Howard from the Real Gay Wives of Houston. I just definitely need to bring this up. Uh, I, I received the news from social media, and I am a big fan of the Real Gay Wives of Houston. This is a video, this not a video, this is a, a photo that, um, I, that was on social media. And I want to bring this up because these two people, these actors right here, I want to bring it up, bring it up right now. Okay, so these two people right here, Okay, you see, I'm pulling the mouse over like you guys can see it. So the back to us, both of them are gone in, 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 in acting, in the acting life, and in the real life. They're both are gone. And they both played husbands in the uh, webcast series, The Real Gay Wives of Houston. And Sean, standing against the pole, who plays Ray, and Miss James, right there, who played by Charlie, they they both died. Charlie died first, and Sean died, who we just recently uh, learned of his passing. So I wanted to show this photo here because it just shows that they are they work together, and they both died, and they're here, and they both return back to the father for which they they come from. You understand? They meet each other in the sky. They see each other rejoining each other in unity. You know? Uh, and they might not have been, you know, in relationship or in real life, but on the show, you guys can see the real gay wives of Houston. Shout out to DePaul Noah. Shout out to Naughty Child Production. Shout out to those who we also know. Uh, Mom Pan, who died, uh, which we know the, the Shirley Norwood. But I just wanted to let y'all know that Ray, a.k.a., well, uh, Sean A. Howard, a.k.a. the pastor, a.k.a. Ray, who played Real Gay Wives of Houston, right here, had died. Okay? All right. 
So let me just go ahead and um, pull up the screen again. It's almost to the end, and I want to just close it off. Happy New Year 2022. Uh, I will be hosting a New Year's Eve party coming soon. And last but not least, inspirational time. Inspirational time. You may be having an inspirational uh, time uh, where you want to go through, that you're going through in your life. And sometimes you may be down. Sometimes you may be you need to be up. But right here, the quotes that you can always remember right here on jury review. So right here with the jury people, uh, I want to say uh, right here, if you don't love yourself, you'll always be chasing after people who don't love you either. So always remember that. And I will try to have inspirational thoughts, uh, mostly every time we have jury review. Dear God, I need you. Dear God, thank you. Never give up. Stay focused. Stay positive and stay strong. Don't start your day with the broken pieces of yesterday. Every day is a fresh start. Each day is a new beginning. Every morning we wake up in the first day of our new life. And God does not want you to try harder. He wants you to trust him deeper. Stop trying. Start trusting you. Say it again. Start Stop trying and start trusting. This will change everything in you. And thank you. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, jury people. Okay. So, jury people, we are here, right here, right now. And uh, I want to say, guys, this has been another episode of jury review i want to say thank you jury people for being here on this episode you guys can now go back to your cars okay so okay all right ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for being here i am kareem clemens i'll see you guys in the next one hold on I'm reading this right here for more information, you guys can visit the blog page. Have a good one. Bye-bye.